All right, guys, I'm Michael from eKids again, and it's time to do our Advent Blocks. So, today is day three, December the 3rd. And uh, so let's see what, what our picture is. Interesting, it's stars. I wonder, wonder what the stars might mean. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to put the stars here. And the star... Uh, like the like the bright star is going to go right on top so well let's let's get to reading let's figure this out you guys ready all right here we go we're back into our devotional let's see what we've got december the third hmm all right it says god's pretty crazy of promise the story of abraham Let's see what's it about what it's about. It's from Genesis chapters 15, 17, and, and 21. So there's a lot here. But let's see. It says, after the big flood in Noah's time, things got better for a little bit, but not completely. God was still far away in God's world, which was supposed to be filled with life and laughter and beauty was still filled with wrong and darkness. God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to prepare a way to be with his people again forever. But he wouldn't do it like he did in Noah's time. No flood this time. This time, God would use the best part of his creation, people. He started with an old man named Abraham. Abraham, God said. I know you don't have any kids yet, but one day you're going to have a huge family. In fact, you have more people in your family than there are stars in the sky. That's why there are stars there. Ah, okay. Abraham looked up at the night sky. He didn't even try counting. After all, do you know how many stars there are in the sky? A lot. More than a hundred. More than a thousand. More than a million. More than a hundred thousand million. Abraham didn't know what to say, but God wasn't done. Abraham, God said, the most important thing isn't even that you'll have a hundred thousand million children and grandchildren and Great, 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 great grandchildren. The most important thing is that one of your great, 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 great grandchildren will be a child who will bring me back to all the people on the earth. When this child is born, everyone will say, this is the king we've been waiting for. Abraham started laughing to himself. His wife, Sarah, she laughed too. It wasn't a happy, a happy laugh, though. They were laughing at God. Not a good idea, of course. But you have to admit, it was a, cra a pretty crazy promise. Have you ever seen an old lady have a baby? Or millions of babies? God came back to Abraham a few more times, and he kept pointing Abraham up to the stars. And even though the promise seemed crazy, Abraham believed what God had said. And God was with Abraham. Even though Abraham was too old to have children, even though his wife was too old to have children, even when Abraham started to doubt God's promise, God was with Abraham. Sure enough, just as God promised, Abraham's wife Sarah got pregnant. She gave birth to a baby boy named Isaac, which means <laughs> son of laughter. Abraham and Sarah both laughed again, but they weren't laughing at God now. No, they were laughing with God. It was like a little glimpse of heaven had started to break through. Maybe, they thought, maybe God really would come back. 
God told Abraham to do a lot of other scary things like leave his home and go to a brand new place he had never seen, and Abraham listened. But Abraham did not always trust God fully. He didn't always listen right away. He did many things that made God's heart sad. He sinned in ways that hurt other people. Because of that, when they, when they didn't listen, God seemed far away. So Abraham and Sarah began to hope and to pray, God, will you come back to stay? So, I think this is interesting, guys, because we've talked about how you know, God created the earth, and there was darkness and there was light, remember? And we learned that darkness is like bad and like evil, and, and light is like good, it's like God, right? And um, when you're in the darkness, you really want there to be light. Well, we, we studied that Adam and Eve... They had the light. They walked with God. Things were good. And then they, they did some things they shouldn't do. And it was like darkness. It was bad. It was sad. And they needed God. And they really wanted God to be back like he was in the garden. But then later in the story of Noah that we learned yesterday, we saw that, you know, God was good and, and, and Noah was good. Noah followed God. But there was darkness because there, there were people who didn't follow God and and they were they were evil and they were violent people and 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 God destroyed the earth so there was darkness but there was also light because God saved Noah but even Noah really needed more God he really needed God to come back to stay didn't he and here in Abraham we first see this promise that that God promises that Abraham's great 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 grandchild will be the messiah that's a big word it really means that he'll be what we you know, know as Jesus. So that's what we're doing, guys. We're, we're seeing darkness and we're seeing light. And we're seeing bad and we're seeing good. And that good is God and light is God. And Christmas is all about waiting for God to come. Waiting for Jesus, right? It's waiting for the light, waiting for the good. And imagine all these people in the Old Testament how much they wanted to see Jesus. And we're really lucky because Jesus is already here. So that's the lesson for today, guys. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. So I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. For now, bye.